eighteen hundred hours Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Farzana Khan. First, the headlines. The Prime Minister says Pakistan has abundant talent to take the country to self reliance in new technological innovation. Imran Khan has called upon WHO to play its role for removing COVID-19 related travel restrictions for developing countries to mitigate economic impact of the pandemic on them. 3,344 new coronavirus cases surfaced with 50 more deaths reported over the last 24 hours. Minister for Information has said the government will take practical steps to protect copyrights. Pakistan has lodged strong protest over the ceasefire violations by the Indian occupation forces along the line of control. In occupied Kashmir, APHC, while paying glowing tributes to the prominent Kashmiri youth leader Burhan Muzaffarwani, ahead of his fourth martyrdom anniversary, has called for a complete strike on Wednesday. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Imran Khan says the government will fully support any initiative in bringing the potential out of the youth. He expressed these views on the occasion of inaugurating a production facility of first-ever indigenously developed ventilators at National Radio and Telecommunication Corporation in Haripur today. The Prime Minister said Pakistan has abundant talent to take the country to self-reliance in new technological innovation. He said our approach in response to coronavirus pandemic and adopting smart lockdown while keeping the economy afloat has been widely acknowledged. He said our focus will now remain on comprehensive health reforms. Imran Khan commended the initiative taken by NRTC and Ministry of Science and Technology for the first ever indigenously produced ventilators. Managing Director NRTC Brigadier Taufik Ahmed gave a detailed briefing to the Prime Minister about the NRTC. Prime Minister Imran Khan has called upon the World Health Organization to play its role in engaging member states to remove COVID-19 related travel restrictions for Pakistan and other developing countries. Talking to Director General WHO Dr. Tedros Adhanam in a video conference today, he also stressed the need to work towards a data-driven system of non-discriminatory travel rules. The Prime Minister observed that travel restrictions imposed by developed countries in the wake of COVID-19 can further exacerbate economic difficulties of developing countries struggling to mitigate the adverse economic impact of the pandemic. He highlighted Pakistan's strategy of deploying scientific and data-driven interventions as well as rapid upgrades of health care facilities while attempting to maintain a balance between life and livelihood. While noting progress made by Pakistan in containing the spread of the virus, WHO appreciated the steps taken by the government in fighting the pandemic. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Senator Shibli Faraz has emphasized the need for joint efforts at international level to defeat the coronavirus pandemic. Talking to British High Commissioner Christian Turner in Islamabad today, he said Pakistan has adopted a balanced strategy of protecting people from the pandemic and dealing with their economic difficulties. The minister said the strategy of smart lockdown is yielding positive results in the country. He said Prime Minister Imran Khan has initiated special efforts for debt relief for developing countries. He said it is welcoming that the G20 countries are playing a key role in the relief in debts. The British High Commissioner said the way Pakistan is dealing with the coronavirus is a role model for Britain. More than 3,334 new coronavirus cases have surfaced in the country during the last 24 hours, taking the total tally to 2,31,800. These include 81,963 cases in Punjab, 94,528 in Sindh, 28,116 in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, 
10,814 in Balochistan, 13,494 in Islamabad, 1,561 in Gilgit Baltistan, and 1,342 cases in Azad Kashmir. The death toll from the virus has reached 4,762, with 50 more deaths reported over the last 24 hours. 22,271 corona tests were carried out during this period. 1,31,649 coronavirus patients have so far recovered from the disease across the country. Minister for Information and Broadcasting Sayyid Shibli Farah says the government is taking practical steps to protect copyrights. Speaking at a meeting with artists of film industry and other stakeholders via video link, he said it is right of the artists to get royalty of their work. The minister said our artists are our identity and national asset and they have a pivotal role in promoting national culture and identity. He said a film task force will be established at the earliest that will play a a key role in promoting film industry in the country and resolution of problems being faced by it. This is Radio Pakistan giving you the news. A senior Indian diplomat was summoned to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs today to register Pakistan's strong protest over the ceasefire violations by Indian occupation forces along the line of control. In a statement, Foreign Office spokesperson Aisha Farooqi said five innocent civilians, including three children, were injured in the indiscriminate and unprovoked firing by Indian occupation forces in Nakyal sector along the line of control yesterday. The spokesperson said this year, India has committed 1,595 ceasefire violations to date, resulting in 14 martyrdoms and serious injuries to 121 innocent civilians. She said by raising tensions along the line of control and working boundary, India cannot divert attention from the grave human rights situation in occupied Kashmir. Five civilians, including two innocent boys and two elderly women, have sustained injuries due to latest unprovoked Indian firing in Nakyal sector along the line of control. In a tweet today, DG ISPR Major General Babar Iftikhar said Indian troops targeted the civilian population. He said Pakistan Army responded effectively to the Indian firing. The 85th birth anniversary of 1965 war hero M.M. Alam is being observed today. M.M. Alam, nicknamed as Little Dragon, shot down five Indian warplanes in less than a minute in the 1965 war, which remains an unbeaten world record. Altogether, he downed nine Indian warplanes in the aerial combat. For his remarkable show of brilliance, he was awarded Sitara Imtiaz and also the Bar Medal. M. M. Alam died in Karachi on March 18, 2013 at the age of 77. In occupied Kashmir, the old party Zuriyat conference, while praying, paying glowing tributes to the prominent Kashmiri youth leader Burhan Muzaffarwani ahead of his fourth martyrdom anniversary, has called for a complete strike on Wednesday. APHC spokesman in a statement in Sirinagar today said the objective of the strike is to convey a message to the world community, particularly the United Nations, that the people of Jammu and Kashmir completely reject the forcible occupation of their motherland by India. The spokesman pointed out that 8th of July would be observed at Yome Istaklal, that is the Freedom Day, to tolerate the Kashmiris' resolve that they would continue their struggle for right to self-determination through thick and thin. Other Hurriyat leaders, including Shabir Ahmed Dar, Muhammad Iqbal Mir and Ajaz Rahmani, in their separate statements while remembering Burhan Wani and other martyrs of July 2016, said that they were heroes of the Kashmiri people who sacrificed their lives for pursuing the political right of the Kashmiri people. In India, the Modi-led fascist regime has banned 40 websites belonging to the Sikh community members and organizations. The websites are allegedly being run by the U.S.-based pro Khalistan organization Six for Justice, which has launched a campaign for reg registering supporters for its Sikh referendum 2020 cause. The SDFG has pushed for the referendum to create an independent motherland for the Sikhs in India. And finally, the weather report. 
Mainly hot and humid weather is expected in most parts of the country during the next 12 hours. However, rain with wind and thunder showers is expected in Upper Khyber Pakhtunkhwa, Eastern and Southern Punjab, Northeastern Balochistan, Sindh, Kashmir and Gilgit Baltistan. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.